Hi, I'm Anna Jones, Operations Coordinator at Kirkham Iron Tech, and today we are talking with our founder and CEO, Tom Kirkham. In addition to being our founder and CEO, Tom is a highly sought-after speaker on the topic of cybersecurity, and he's also the author of two number one best-selling books on Amazon, Hack the Rich and the Cyber Pandemic Survival Guide. Thank you for being here today, Tom. I don't know if I can stand up to that wonderful introduction. Well, it's all true. <laughs> so, Tom, I have a riddle for you today. Okay. What do you do, Pokemon, the Belgian Grand Prix, American Express, De Valbrueri, and the boat maker Marine Max have in common? They all exist on planet Earth. I think yeah. they've all had a. I think they've all had a a, a data breach of some sort recently. Yes, they have. They've all been compromised um, by cybercrime in 2024 this year. So, um, I mean, it's crazy um, that ransomware attack has made the news almost every day in 2024, and that these victims include organizations from every industry type, including gaming, healthcare water utility services, I mean, breweries and more. So it's just, it's really crazy um, how it's going these days. Yeah. And in fact, I saw a statistic that uh, in the first part of this year, ransomware is up 23%. I don't remember the source of it, but I ran across that the other day and I was kind of somewhat surprised. Uh, but the simple fact of the matter is many of those, especially like a brewery, that's not a targeted attack. They probably just got caught up in an email list and someone inside the brewery clicked the wrong link, opened the wrong file attachment and set the attack loose. But to the criminal hacker, it's just a numbers game, right? right. So that brewery, for example, was caught up in an email list of say a hundred thousand different emails that may weren't even related to each other in any way, shape, form, or fashion. And the hackers just thinking, I just want a few of these people to become victims and pay 3000 5000 50000 a million dollars in, mm -hmm. in uh, Bitcoin, typically. And that that's one of the big problems that we have is, and especially me, because I spend most of my time evangelizing and, and raising s security awareness that it can happen to anyone. You know, we all hear the big names like American Express and others that get compromised, Sony Pictures, JBS, Colonial Pipeline, the list goes on and on and on. But those are typically targeted attack attacks. What you don't hear about are the small and medium-sized businesses or individuals mm -hmm. that are hit with modest ransom demands, you know, thousand, three thousand, five thousand, because those go usually unreported. Uh, but those are the most significant part. Mo more attacks are to the small to medium sized businesses. The hackers do not want to end up making headlines like you just cited. You know, they don't want to be on CNN. It, it increases the chances that word of were they to leave the protection of Russia to go on vacation, say, in Greece, right. it increases the chance that they're going to get arrested. They yeah. would pre the most ransomware attackers would rather stay under the radar, do the most of them, do the smaller attacks, work in terms of volume, scale, and make money that way. But then they can just repeat it over and over again you know the colonial pipeline attack was uh let's see the ransom on that was four and a half million i think wow and uh but because it was so big it disrupted petroleum distribution on the east coast uh the fbi got involved in it and they were able to claw back some of the ransom i think they they were able to get two million or so give or take uh mm -hmm. so back from the crooks because they were they were under surveillance. They knew some of their wallet IDs and somehow they hacked their wallets and, and retrieved the Bitcoin. That's mm -hmm. not going to happen to you or me. FBI is not going to really do anything. They're not going to care. And you're left with that choice. 
do I have a good backup that I can restore from, or am I going to pay the ransom because my family photos are priceless to me? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you just end up being, a, you know, just a statistic to the FBI. You know, they're not going to pursue, you know, critical infrastructure like, uh, well, any supply chain stuff like JBS, um, petroleum, all of those things that that's more serious and they've got to, you know, do their best to try to stop those kind of hackers.